Just a warning for the young ones out there, I do swear quite a bit in this video, so if that's something you're uncomfortable with uh, and you just ran across this video, then this is probably not the video for you. Um, just giving you a heads up that uh, it's a bit of a parental advisor, uh, parental advisory warning. Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste of music and today I'm going to start a new series reaction. For real this time because we're watching some baby shit, okay? Invincible gave me nightmares. I couldn't stop thinking about it. But you know what? Someone mentioned the subway scene, okay? And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I completely forgot about the existence of that. That was actually the thing that I saw from the show. But I completely forgot about it. I, all I was like, oh, I remember something somewhat disturbing. No. No, that was really disturbing. And if I would have remembered that, I probably would have never started it. Uh, either way, we're doing something that's not so disturbing, okay? Over the garden wall. And not only that, but this first episode's 11 minutes, okay? Life be looking pretty easy right about now. Alright, I like the look of this. Something short, something sweet, something that won't give me nightmares. Over the garden wall, don't know shit about it. Uh, I think it's from the same people who made, uh, what is it? Uh, fucking Gravity Falls or something? Here we go. Over the garden wall, without any further ado, uh, let's get this shit started. Blood of moon. All that was lost. Okay, spooky music. Love the artwork so far. We got chickens who, that, that serve as horses. Okay. Burdens. Shall we? All right, so this looks like it's it, the setting is ye old times, uh, but a different kind of ye old times where there's more fantasy going on. Like here, you see a fish fishing. I mean, it's like you see some weird shit. All these weird things are kind of building an atmosphere of, okay, the world here around here doesn't make perfect sense. If dreams can't come true. Cartoon Network presents. Here we go. Some sophisticated shit right here. Somewhere lost in the clouded annals of history lies a place that few have seen. Clouded what? Where long forgotten stories are revealed to those who travel through the wood. Penguin Pete. Huh? Steve, but I think the very worst name for this frog is... Ah, uh, see, okay. autism. That was a joke, but at the same time, it's not a joke, okay? You see what I'm saying? It's a, it's a joke, okay? All right? I figure if you're ever going to make an ableist joke, it's right there. It's right there because it's not super offensive, okay? Shut up. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a little insensitive, okay? I'm not going to... Th Look, I'm not going to throw out the... You know, I have friends with odd blah, 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 blah. I got friends who are black, friends who are this kind of shit. Because maybe it was a little insensitive, okay? But it was a little funny, okay? You gotta admit. Where are we? I think we're lost. I can leave a trail of candy for my pants. Though I am get lost. Candy, huh? My graveyard of my lost love. For only... It's Romeo you... ass, motherfucker. Yeah. Do you think it's some kind of deranged lunatic with an axe waiting out there in the darkness for innocent victims? Right. It's it's not like too babyish. That's a good sign. Okay, that's always a good sign. Greg, you're gonna get us into trouble again. Oh, it is a guy with an axe. Oh shit, they're fucked. Shoot, that that log is gonna be you. Pew. I mean, you guys are lost, right? Yes. <gasps> what in the world is going? There's a fish fishing in the ocean. How is you, how are you surprised by a talking bird? Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if we got cannibal fish and we got axe axe swinging murderers, okay, a talking bird is like an, a wa another walking day walking walking day in the park. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Bird's brain isn't big enough for cognizant speech. Hey, what was that? I mean, I'm just. Oh my god, what an asshole, dude! What a dick! I'm giving this motherfucker the red headphones. Dog. Sh no respect for the birds. No respect. Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Wow. Explain yourselves. Handle Kill him. This was no place for children. Don't you know the beast? Is oh, this this is guy. I recognize his voice. The beast? We, we, we don't know anything about that. We we're just two lost kids trying to get home. Okay, here's what we know so far. There's these two guys, look like brothers. They're, getting, they're lost in the woods in this world where things just don't make a whole lot of sense. Also, they look like gnomes, which might, they, they might actually be gnomes. Or maybe I just know that there are gnomes in this world because I, that's all I know is that gnomes exist, okay? And also there's talking birds. And they meet this axe-swinging murderer. And now they're having tea with him. You and your brother should be safe here while I work. Candy trail, candy trail. Hold on, I gotta put chicken in the oven. Everyone has a torch to burn, and this here is mine. I grind the horrid hazelwood trees into oil. 
<laughs> That's his job. His, so he's basically just trying to survive out here. But is he really just turning everything? Is his life just making fuel for himself? That's an empty, empty existence right there. Lot in life. This is my burden. But he must know the woods really well, so we may need to knock him out first. Except that may turn out really badly, huh? What are you boys whispering about? Are you trying to kill me? Not if I kill you first. Well, remember, the beast haunts these woods in the search of lost souls such as yourselves. To help us? No. When I am finished, I will do what I can to guide you. You are still here when I return. I guess we could just leave. I don't know. It's a cozy house, Frank. man. I mean, he could have done away with us by now if that was his plan. <sighs> I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like... I love this angle. He looks like he's talking to his therapist. He's just like, oh, you know, sometimes I just live life and exist, and I just don't know what else there is out there, you know? Twisting towards an endless black sea. Uh, <clears throat> further and further, bro, drifting away. Bro, you need help, dude. Jesus Christ, this shit not okay. You need some help. You, it sounds like you're with the right company, though. You're, you're having some existential problems, just like this old man. Hey. Did you know that if you soak a raisin in grape juice, it turns into a grape? It's a rock fact! You have a You're rock head, kid. Why don't you go- Hold on there a second, brother o' mine. I'll be back soon for your plan. He's gonna die. You're too in your head to notice that. What if there's a beast? Mm -hmm. Dude, this kid's fucked. Kitty! Kitty! Dude, okay. At least with this kid's show, I know this kid's not gonna die, okay? I mean, it's too early on to kill off the main characters. Uh, yeah, nah, this shit rated PG, okay? Look at this, this trailer candy, okay? He's just gonna, the beast is gonna be made of cotton candy, and, and he's gonna be like, ah, and then he runs away, and he makes it. Kitty, go. Look! I Fuck tripped that. on my own candy trail! This is cute, I like this show. Come that here. frog's giving me the run around. Uh oh. Oh. What the? Oh no, yeah, he's making oil, right? Oh wait, what if he's actually grinding up little. <laughs> Gnomes, and he just thinks it's wood. It's a monster. Mm, is that? Look. Oh, there you are. Uh oh. Kitty. You have beautiful eyes. I like it. Like the beast design. That shit. It's shit nice. That guy actually looks like a real motherfucking beast. You, you got me shivering in my boots. Uh, that's wow. Holy shit. This show might be too scary. I think it's time to, to go down to maybe Nick Jr. Rather than Cartoon Network. I don't know. I don't think I can handle Cartoon Network. That shit. That's, that beast actually scary as fuck. Look at this mother. Dude. Actually, you know what? It does kind of look like a kitty now that I think about it. it. It does. It looks like a cat. Like a giant fucked up cat. Greg? Uh... Dude, you are the worst brother ever. You don't even think twice. You, you you even theorize maybe there is a beast. You don't even question when he says he's going out. You the worst. The worst. You're supposed to be looking out for him. You lazy. No good. Never good. Son of a bitch. What's happening? Where's your brother? Stay back, boys. This creature looks as though it is. Huh? Fucking idiot. What the fuck was that? Dude, this kid's got some... Okay, again, I'm not gonna make any jokes, okay? We live in 2021. Everybody is allowed to be just the how they are, okay? I am riddled with mental illness. Which gives me, you know, the qualification to say that kid probably does have something, all right, going on, you know, beneath the hood, if as they say. Spank! 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 You flip the thing over. Oh yeah! <laughs> He's eating your candy. Let the beast right to us ah, with your candy. I see. Uh, we got we gotta get out of here. Yo, what? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, see, now, if we were watching Impossible, okay, I'm just saying that these physics would be a little bit different. I'm sorry, I mean Invincible. Uh, yeah, damn, wow. This, this guy, that's gotta hurt like a, that's gotta hurt like a motherfucker, I gotta say. That, that shit look like it hurt. Oh, well. Damn. They straight up killed him. All he wanted was some candy, dude, these... 
two kids are murderers. They're destroying the wildlife of this place, okay? They are more dangerous than global warming. Oh, oh. Whoa, what? Was that the fucking beast? What the shit? Hold on. I... Oh, wait, he did spit up something. Okay, so here's the information that I've gathered in this world. There seems to be some entity turning that, that that's like a super shit, okay? You eat it, turns you into a beast. Go, ah, ah, okay? I see, so there's like some shadow bullshit. But, but yeah. look, we, we got the beast problem solved. Okay, I love the guy that they hired for this shit, dude. He's like, he's got, he howls. He he basically sings the the sorrows of of the situation. He's messing up, Greg. Boy, you have it backwards. You are the elder child. You are responsible. You must go. <laughs> Take your brother off. Look for a town. One last thing. <laughs> little, little one, you look after that frog. Give him a proper name. Is that it? Uh oh. I'm gonna call him Wirt. That's gonna be really confusing. Wirt? No, I'm gonna call you Kitty. What? Maybe I'll start calling you Candy Pants. Alright. Is that it? Alright, very cute. That's Over the Garden Wall Episode 1. Alright, I've decided this is the new series. I like it. Shorter episodes, easier to digest. Okay? That beast. There's no way that that thing... The thing got crushed like a motherfucker under the mill, okay? Is the mill made it spit up some dark shit, and then all of a sudden turned into a dog? I, I don't see that happening, okay? I'm, I'm pretty sure that shit went, you know, the, the, and even he said, you know, the dog's not the beast. There's something out there. There's something scary out there that the old man is warning the children about, okay? Also, it, it, that's not really a name for a frog, okay? You're just stealing your brother's name. That's some fuck shit right there, all right? We don't appreciate that. Anyways. I like this show. It's very cute. It's very simple, uh, but it's got good writing, and it's very cute in terms of the artwork. Very creative, and uh, I'm cool with uh, continuing the, with this. So, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know if you want me to keep going, even though I'm gonna keep going anyways. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.